Why do I really it do club reviews? Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name's James Robinson and if you are a regular viewer, welcome back to the channel. If you're not a regular viewer, then make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button. That way, at least you won't miss any of the great golf related content that I bring to you guys every single day. If you are a regular viewer and you haven't hit that notification bell already, make sure you do that because then you definitely won't miss any of the great golf related content that I bring to you guys every single day. In today's video, it is a beautiful winter's day here at Huddersfield Golf Club and we have the golf course to ourselves I'm going to talk to you guys about exactly why I started doing reviews, why I still do reviews, and why I'll, well, always do reviews. So guys, as you all know, it is imperative to me that you're a part of my videos. Yes, you down that lens. I'm sorry because I know it's rude to point. And as always, that means I want you to comment below. In this video, I want you to hit those comments below. Why do you watch reviews? I, I always wonder why. Do you watch them because you're going to buy a new club? Do you watch them for entertainment? Do you watch them just because you're intrigued? Guys, hit the comments below and let me know. Now you're going to have to excuse me guys, if today... Now you're going to have to excuse me today guys, if some of the shots aren't up to the standard that you would usually expect. Not that that's uh, going to be high at all, I've not been very well basically, so I'll get my excuses in early for that. But go on then James, why do you do reviews? Why, why do you start doing reviews? Why... <coughs> Why do you bother still doing reviews? Is it so you can sell more drivers in the shop? Is it so that people know who you are? Is it so that you get loads and loads of easy views on YouTube? Not that there is such a thing, but no! It's none of those things. Good to go. Well, that could work nicely. Get up! Go! Don't shout, James, your voice. Go! <laughs> go! <laughs> front edge will take it. Is it because you feel like you're better at golf than everybody else and that your golf swing stands up and that you're like a machine and that you can just test things really really well and that your numbers stand out from everyone else's, your data's miles better, you hit it further than everyone else and everyone should just listen to you? Of course not! You see I've just got back from Australia visiting Alex Etchers and we had this conversation over um, a pint or six And let me tell you, if there's anyone's numbers that stand out on YouTube for reviews, it's his. If you've not seen Alex's channel, make sure you go check it out. Alex Etches at Golf Box TV, based in Perth, Western Australia. And that guy can give it an absolute smash. Although in our match, I did outdrive him with a 7-iron. I mean, he hit 7-iron as well, but I did outdrive him. So we've got to claim these little victories, haven't we? Anyway, back to the point. Why do I do reviews? Not bad from that left-hand rough. We'll take that. Okay, so I'm going to break the question down into three parts. I don't know where I'm going. I am all at sixes and sevens today. And the green looks a bit wet, so we're going to land it most of the way there. And that could be one of the reasons. Not that the green's wet. But the first part to answering this question is basically why I started YouTube. And I did do a video on this ages ago. And I started YouTube because I wanted to broaden my own knowledge. And I thought the way that you broaden your own knowledge is by explaining things to other people. Because if you can't explain things to other people, then you don't understand it properly yourself. And if you don't understand it properly yourself, you don't have broad knowledge. So, yeah. So basically, yeah, I wanted to broaden my knowledge on equipment, on golf clubs, on irons, on drivers, on putters, on golf balls. I feel like I've done that. Yes, it's wet, James, so let's land it halfway there. Ah! I've not got a towel either. That's not ideal today. Rookie error. Yeah, I started because, well, I was sick of being in the pro shop and people coming and asking me questions about the new TaylorMade R11 or the Titleist 910, 913, 915. And to be honest, I'd, I'd sort of got to the point where I didn't care. And I know that sounds awful from a PGA professional, but we can only be honest, can't we? And I thought, how can I get my love back? How can I get my knowledge back? Can you see? 
what a lot of guys would have done and what a lot of guys did because I know this one second two a lot of guys quit golf when they get to that point and I think that's awful it's an awful position to be in it's an awful thing to do the PGA training isn't easy there's a lot of work in it and to be honest we do it because we enjoy it, don't we? So how could you get the enjoyment back into it? For me, that was finding out more about equipment, more about golf clubs, and then forwarding it on to people, like you. This is the first putt I've hit in 10 days, and it could go anywhere. Disclaimer. Ooh, you had the line. You had the line. So basically, that's why we started reviews. That's a bogey five. So that's why we started reviews. But why do you still do reviews? Because if you've now got that love back and you've got the, the knowledge or you feel you've got the knowledge because you've done the research and you keep doing the research on these things, why do you still do them? Well, because now I enjoy it. Isn't that amazing? But obviously if you enjoy something, you're gonna carry on doing it, aren't you? And, I'm more than well aware that if you're lucky enough, one second, this could be very, very, very slippy. There we go. And yeah, I'm more than well aware that if you're lucky enough to do something you enjoy for a living and it's your job, then keep doing it. And don't get me wrong, the internet can be an awful place at times. YouTube can be a horrible place at times. Not like Twitter. Twitter. Twitter's a horrible place all the time. But now I'm at a position where people come and ask me my thoughts on golf clubs. They ask me what golf clubs they should use. They ask me why they should use those golf clubs. And now I feel like I have answers for them. I feel like if you ask me anything, hit those comments below. Guys, if you do want to ask me anything, I feel like I pretty much have an answer for each and every one of you. Unless it's about Twitter. Not no Twitter. Right, come on. Another fairway missed. It's gotta be the flu. <coughs> gotta, <coughs> gotta be. Because we never miss fairways when we're well, do we? Okay, so you started doing reviews because you wanted to be more knowledgeable, you wanted to enjoy it more, you wanted to recapture your love for golf and you did it. Then you carried on doing reviews because when you started doing reviews and you got a little bit more knowledgeable, you got the love back for it, it all worked out nicely. And that's why you still do them. But why are you going to carry on? This is an interesting one. This is an interesting one. And I spoke to Alex about this at length in, I think it was the sandbar on the beach. A little bit different here now, but the answer hasn't changed. I'm going to carry on because I've fallen in love with absolutely every little piece of reviewing golf clubs. I've fallen in love with Where's my golf ball? Hmm. Oh, there you are. Cut that. Cannot believe how well that sat. I fall in love with testing the golf clubs. I fall in love with filming the golf clubs. I fall in love with hitting the golf clubs. And for me, what have we got here? I should probably use this. I don't use as often as I should. It's a fan. And for me, that's enough to warrant carrying on. I fall in love with testing the golf clubs. I fall in love with looking at the golf clubs. I fall in love with filming the golf clubs, editing the videos, every little thing. I just love it. It makes me feel like a kid again when I get new golf clubs to test. And whenever something makes you feel that good, you've got to carry on doing it. Come on, let's make a birdie. Tell you what, right, a little, not going to be far away. Definitely need a towel. Definitely need a towel. Uh. Oh, and not to mention, I fall in love with you guys as well. Not in a weird way, but there's so many subscribers out there that I know you watch every single video. You comment on every single video. I do try to reply to as many as I can. And I'm not going to lie, I'm very proud of the community that we've grown together. I can only see it going one way, guys. Oh, we're gonna have a festive birdie. Ooh, there's every chance. Every chance. 
And so guys, if you are one of those subscribers that's making me feel as good as you are, then all I can do is thank you. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. This video has gone very, very emotional very quickly, hasn't it? But, but I do mean it, the channel would not be where it is without you guys watching. So thank you ever so ever so much. Let's see if we can make this birdie because uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while. It's been, been a while. Gotta be. Gotta be. So guys, that was the real reason why I started doing club reviews. The honest reason why I still do them. And the really honest reason why I'm gonna carry on doing them. I go walking, that's right. Oh, but it's a par. So all that's left to say in this video, I guess, is thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, you're not a subscriber already, guys. Come on, we just need to, need to hit that subscribe button. If the notification bell hasn't rung as well, make sure you go and do that. It would mean the world if you leave us a like on this video because uh, it lets me know that I haven't got the energy to do what I normally do, but. Yeah, let me know that you're enjoying the content. Hit those comments below. Why do you watch reviews? Why? I am mean, I'm really interested. But I'm glad you do. And as always, guys, I guess I'll just uh, see you tomorrow.